A while ago, I was sitting down with a man and he told me this. That day, I was wandering around a square in North London full of smart houses. After going all the way round, I picked one at random. Walking casually up to the black door, I pushed the top and bottom to check how many locks it had. It wobbled a bit, just the one lock then. Leaning against it, I pushed quickly and hard and I was in. At the top of the stairs, I found a bedroom full of bits and pieces that I knew I could sell quickly. Normally this kind of job would take five minutes, but this time I was probably in there for over half an hour. For some reason, I sat down on the bed and started picking things up, examining them. All of a sudden, I heard a voice. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? It was a big guy, athletic looking. I made up a lie, something about being a neighbour. I deliberately framed this story by telling you that someone else had told it to me. What would have been different if I hadn't said that? Something really interesting happens when we tell other people's stories and it becomes even more dramatic if we actually turn them into some kind of performance. If we had the man who told me that story, which I wrote for a big newspaper, a readership of millions, so it's a, it's a well-publicised story. But what I'm talking about here is enacting it and performing it. And if we'd had that person with us, he could tell us how he sat on the bed and what sorts of things he picked up, where the man came in from, what kind of athletic, and what was his voice like, and what was his accent like. And we could perform it again and again until we get it more or less correct. A really exciting exercise, this. It's also just mesmerising to watch. This weekend at the EA Festival, I'm going to be doing that kind of reenactment using stories provided by the audience, whoever turns up. I hope you'll be there. And if you can't make it, sign up to my newsletter because I'm going to be sharing more about this as the weekend continues. Thanks for watching.